Welcome to the Blokes Podcast. I'm Adam. And I'm Greg. And we sit down once a week to shoot the breeze. We chat about anything and everything. Sports, films, drinking, politics, music, etc. So sit back, crack open a beer and enjoy. Hey, dude. How are you? <laughs> very good, mate. How are you? <laughs> yeah, very well. We're uh, we're back on home soil this week. <laughs> yes, we are. On, uh, in the motherland. <laughs> we had a bit of an adventure, but we are back. We sure did. We sure did. Where have, where have we been, Greg? <laughs> oh, we went to the uh, uh, efficient and uh, <laughs> well-run uh, city called Munich. Yeah, we did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um in Bavaria, Germany, and it was uh, it was a special time. It was good. It was a, a lot of fun. Yeah, th- th- this is the special uh, secret surprise that we were going to spring on you, dear listeners, at the end of yeah. last at the end of last week. So we um, mm-hmm. just be- obviously we're in sort of lockdown two point now, but this was a couple of weeks ago. This shows how how slack we've been on recording the podcast that we've. <laughs> We uh, we've been away to a different country and <laughs> almost forgotten about it in between the <laughs> last week's episode and this week's. But uh, yeah, we had a great time, man. We we basically wanted to get away, uh, drink some beer, eat some pork products, um, eat some sauerkraut, <laughs> learn a bit of history, yeah. and just yeah. basically have a bit of a a bit of a, a covid safe uh, lads holiday if there is such a thing yes. yeah <laughs> we thought we'd try it was all co- just to, it's like a little uh, disclaimer it was all above board and covid safe and uh yeah we weren't breaking any rules or anything like that so just uh, just thought i'd put that out there before yeah we go definitely <laughs> definitely well i'm sure there's been loads of blokes out there like especially before the lockdown have been like oh there's so many good deals on flights like I wish I could get away, mm-hmm. like go on a little lads' holiday, and so many stag dues that must have been cancelled, you know, because of this. For sure, like a whole year's worth of stag dues down the drain. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure whether like Prague or uh, or Bruges would be thankful of that or not. Like they've lost so much yeah. money, but also no <laughs> idiot Brit like lads on the on the piss. <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to think now whether whether like people's livers are on the whole healthier <laughs> or not over this this period because I feel like. The binging has probably been taken down, but I think that everyday drinking is probably like ticked up a bit, right? Oh, big time, big time. I'm, I reckon it's worse. I reckon it's worse. I think I've even seen some yeah. like sort of basic polls, basic studies, um, yeah, in papers and stuff that have said, yeah, it's gone through the roof, man. But, um, oh wow! But we all know how uh, inaccurate polls can be, so let's just ignore yeah. those polls and keep drinking, baby. Oh, relevant. <laughs> yeah, straight in there with the politics, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh mate. dear! I've got I've got so much written down for today's episode. Like, because so much has happened since we've actually since we went to Munich. It's like, oh man, chock a block. Yeah, chock a block. Good one. <laughs> so we actually did a little Absolutely. bit of recording while we we're out there, just little voice notes um, on our phone, sort of thing, at different stages of the journey. So um, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to slot these in as and when, so you can hear little little snippets of what we've been up to, uh, and. Yeah. Here's the first one. This is us in the airport before we take off. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the inaugural annual Blokes Podcast, uh, a broad show, foreign foreign trip. (laughs) Why are we keeping our voices down here, Adam? (laughs) Because we are currently maskless, legally, because we're we're drinking water at the same time. Um, We are in the lounge at Heathrow. Um, it is, what time is it? Mm. Far too early, 10 past six in the morning. Christ. Yet to have our first beer, mm. but we're going to stock up on our way out of the lounge um, so we don't have to spend a penny. Um, we shall report back later with further frivolities. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, mate, I know we drank a lot of German beer recently. We had a lot of ice beer. A lot of hells, mm. that sort of thing. Dunkel beer as well. I think they called it into that dark, that sort of dark beer. Um, okay, yeah. So uh, I've gone. I've gone back to British today. Since we're back on okay. home soil, I've uh, right. I've gone for a pint of Thirsty Ferret, which is from Badger Ooh. Brewery, 
which is uh, okay. down Dorset, apparently. Uh, Amber Ale, 4.4. Um, and it's, yeah, it's reassuringly British. Oh, <laughs> you, I love it. You know I was, I was wondering sort. how you'd go. Yeah, I was wondering whether you'd want to you'd want to bring go back to the roots or whether you'd want to try and relive the, the, the trip. But good choice, I think. Yeah, definitely. Got to mix it up. Got to mix it up. So, yeah, this is, this is pretty nice, pretty easy going. Um, yeah, and as it says on the bottle, amber. It's got a beautiful colour. It's nice and clear. Yeah. No head mm. on it, which is something we were complaining about big time <laughs> in Germany. <laughs> so I we, mean, it's just so ridiculous, isn't it? It's it's crazy. It's crazy. What a waste of beer and money <laughs> and space. <laughs> um, I've actually got... The, the, the Thirsty Ferret was actually one of the first ales I ever drank in a pub. No way. Yeah, and it was... Um, I didn't actually like it at all. So I haven't, I hadn't had one for years until recently because in my head I'd always thought I didn't like it, but it was classic, like 18 year old, first time you had a, a like an ale and it's like, oh, no, yeah, not yeah. for me. I remember uh, my WKD, first WKD, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got anything a bit um, more blue in colour, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but I had one not that long ago and it, yeah, you're right, it's really good. It is really, really good. So. Palettes change, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So I've actually done the opposite of you. I've gone, I've tried to I kind of relive it. Not really, it's sort of. I'm, we're close. It's a Belgian beer. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, similar style. Called Deli- Yeah. So I've, I've, I wanted to sort of try and relive it a little bit. Um, but this one, we actually, had, we spoke about these on the trip. Um, this one's called Delirium and it's uh, uh, <laughs> one of the stronger ones. It's, I think, just shy of 9%. Oh, one. mama. That's big. That's a big boy drink. <laughs> So it's um it's a uh, yeah it's alcoholic let's put it that way I, I don't know what it's going to be like this is my first taste so here we go oh it smells musty that oh yeah you can usually smell them coming a mile off those Belgian beers oh going in for a second one eh? <laughs> I can see it hitting you I can see the vein on your on the side of your head bulging <laughs> oh you know not, not... <laughs> It's like a vice beer, but not a huge amount of flavour, weirdly. Um, but definitely like a, you sip it and it's like a, you wince at me. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, you know you're drinking something. Blimey. <laughs> so, okay. So not a lot of flavour, but it but it tastes like no. just, you can tell it's strong though, right? But just. A... It's, a, it's like a strong, t- yeah, exactly right. So it's. Um, Is it cloudy? It's, it's like, yeah, very cloudy. Um, very frothy as well, though. Yeah. Um, I can't see the clouds anymore. As I was pouring it, it was definitely cloudy. Yeah. But yeah, not very not very strong at all in flavour, but definitely alcoholic. Nice, nice, nice. Nine yeah, percent. I bad. mean Oh God, yeah. yeah. Good shivers. <laughs> I've already had uh complaints from a listener about my um, oh, dislike of Guinness. So <laughs> was out for a cur- <laughs> out for a curry with this mate and he was like Listen, I love the podcast, mate, but uh, Guinness, really? <laughs> he was like, I can't listen to any more. If you don't like Guinness, I'm out. <laughs> so, yeah. Fair, I'm, fair I'm, enough. I think you've got to get back into that. You got It's like a acquired taste, mate. You've got to give it another go. I've got to keep trying it. Keep trying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, in fact, we actually have, we actually have a bit of um, a listener contribution here. So, again, oh, I'm going I'm to drop, you know? drop in a little bit of audio in post. But oh, um, yes. we have a, a fan of the show, and he is not, he's not really a whiskey drinker. Uh, I'll let him okay. introduce himself, by the way, but he's not really a whiskey drinker. Uh, and because he's listened to the podcast, he's loving it, and he's like, I really want to get into whiskey. What do you recommend? You know, I, I've not really drunk a lot of it, didn't really like it when I tried it years ago. Um, mm-hmm. But he's, he was having a night, basically, a night out, or night in, so to speak, a lockdown night in. And he was like, I want to have a night on whiskey. So I said, ooh, okay. So it's going to be a big night. Like, I said to him, mate, regardless, yeah. like, you, you, you're going to be drunk, right? You are really mm-hmm. going to be drunk if you're drinking whiskey all night. And he's like, yeah, that's okay, but I just want something that goes down easy, basically, that I can sort of sip all night. So I said, mm. I, I, I don't know whether you approve, but I said, you want to go single malt scotch, um, but you want to go Speyside. Nothing peated or smoky, just a spe- okay. like a sort of creamy, caramelly, Easy going, space side, single malt. So it's still nice, it's sure. still good. It's not the usual sort of Jack Daniels that you might drink in a pub, but it's like something special, but something easy going. And I, I also told him to give it a good taste first, neat, and then if mm-hmm. he wants to, a dash or two of water just to like open up some flavours and to spare his liver for the next day. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> hydrate him slightly, yeah. yeah. Those drops of water, they'll make a difference. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's not actually decreasing the amount of alcohol. It's just... <laughs> Making it easier to go down. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> okay, so here he is. Hi, everybody. My name's Pete, long-time listener, first-time caller. I'm leaving a little whiskey note for Adam and Greg. Uh, for all the guys who want to try... Who aren't a connoisseur like them too on whiskey, but, you know, they do like it. So... I tried the Ben Bracken Speyside Single Malt, and I picked it up at Lidl uh, for £16.49, and it was absolutely lovely. Uh, like I said, I am not knowledgeable at all with whiskey. Uh, so I asked the guys roughly, what should I go for? You know, because I just wanted to stay on whiskey all night. I didn't want to mix, and they pointed me in the right direction. And it was absolutely beautiful. Um, what can I say? It wasn't your classic fire water like Bell's, uh, just smooth. It went down an absolute storm. Um, I will say don't drink too much uh, because your partner might leave you if you have one. Uh, I'm just speaking from experience. Um, apart from that, absolute joy to drink, and I cannot recommend it. So that's the Ben Bracken Speyside Single Malt from Lidl. And it was £16.49, and it's 40%. Uh, thanks again, Adam and Greg. Love you both. Love the show, and hope to see you soon. All right, so that's... Um, okay, so just, just before we move on from that, I, I agree with everything you said, but what I would possibly say... I guess it's, if it's for a night in, I think you're, you're 100% right, but if it's to like spark that interest in whiskey as, in general... I might have maybe suggested like a, a Highland Park or something Ooh. that's like a semi-smoky whiskey. You know, that's not too harsh, not an Ardberg or anything crazy, but something that's different that you don't expect from whiskey if you're not a fan of it already. Uh, you know? Okay, interesting. Because for me, that was the thing that sort of hooked me is I had a, I had a smoky whiskey, not expect, expecting it to taste like whiskey I'd had before, Jack Daniels or whatever. Yeah. And then it surprising me at how different it tasted and how, how cr obvious it was of a difference. So maybe for someone who wants to just try and get into the hobby of it, maybe that would be a better shout. But I would not suggest that if you're like, <laughs> if you're going a quarter to a half bottle down yeah. in, a, in a in a night, like that's that's um, probably not the best shout. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting take. Yeah. That's a very good idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Or having two, <laughs> having two that you can compare to. But hey, I mean, I'm overthinking this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet. No, great idea. Great idea. All right, Adam. So... I think, I mean, we've got a lot of sport to catch up on, right? We sure have. Yeah, and we, none of it good. Should we carry on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I've got a mixed bag, really. It's such a weird... Oh, do you want to... Should we start with... Uh, we'll start with football, shall we? Yeah, sure. Go. Go for it. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's just chill out for a second. Uh, this is Greg. Um, I'm sorry, but I feel like I need to interrupt this uh, broadcast to... Just put a little disclaimer out there. I'm about to start talking about Man United with some pretty, um, pretty uh, heavy uh, confidence, and it's important for me to know that you know I've been following this team closely, somewhat for about two months. That's it. I'm I'm about to start talking like I've been a Man United fan my entire life, and uh, uh, you know I'm a Red Devil through and through. That's not the case. So just bear that in mind. Uh, forgive me for my uh, <laughs> um, lack of humility here. And just, yeah, take everything with a pinch of salt. Cheers, mates. Bye. Man United. <sighs> Such a weird team. Um, so, uh, as you may know, our, our manager, Solskjaer, is in got a bit of heat under him at the moment. There's a chance that he might get fired. Yeah. Um, he's <laughs> he can't seem to win like more than <laughs> comfortably win more than like two games in a row, yeah. um, <laughs> and it's like so strange. Like we'll nail we'll nail the Champions League, and then we'll play a uh, like an average. Well, I guess Arsenal aren't average at all, probably. But we'll play a Premiership game, and then we'll lose it like and look like we deserve to lose. You know? Yeah, yeah. So we went. So example, we went. We played um, Leipzig. Leipzig. Um, one five nil, then we go to uh, play Arsenal and we lose one nil. But the teams that we put out for both games were like completely different. Yeah. 
So I understand they're like trying to like keep people's legs fresh and stuff, but which one was the to sh- me? There's a the stronger team in theory that the team he always puts out with like 